this is like one of the signs so hot. It's really hot today and tomorrow's going to be hotter. So it's got frozen chicken drumsticks in it and I filled it up with water. The chicken drumsticks are for the dog but the birds nibble at the flesh too but I mean they're buried under the water. And here's Bubby. He's still, he's, he's, he's kind of messy but it's really cool. It's noticeably cooler in here than um, in a lot of places in the farm. And see here, this is where the geese nest and that's where Stella sleeps. She's got, a, well, actually she's got a few options, but this is where she tends to go. Um, in the heat, she'll also go down, to, going to other places, but she does tend to fade this and I think it's also going to be warm. Um, they were used for dogs a while back, um, a few years ago. Hi. So this is Roger. You can hear Stella panting. I'll get her in a minute. Hey, hey, I know. I'm going to come and check on you all tomorrow and make sure you're all okay. Because tomorrow's, I was going to stay tonight, but I can't. Um, so I've got to go and um, do a few things. And then I'll be, definitely be back tomorrow. But I mean, they've got heaps of water. There's not really much you can do. I can try and water her down, but um, I'm not sure convinced she's going to enjoy it. And if I just stress her more, that's worse than just letting her be. This is the most I've ever seen of Hant. Hi, darling. Hi, my girl. She drinks a lot. And I've got cameras on all their water sources and everything, so I keep an eye on them all. Okay, so here, back here, so there's Roger. Uh, one of the daughters there, and Lucy, Ducey, and Mary, and Mary, two Marys, one Mary, two Marys. Oh no, that's Audrey with missing hair from uh, being mounted. Here's another Mary. They're growing back, which is good. This I can tell them apart if I get really up close to the Marys. So that's Blackie. Sorry, because there's bent bits of like, stuff everywhere to keep the geese in. They're not the geese, but the goslings not a very good film of you is it he's doing well and he'll either have to be rehomed or culled so it's really sad but he's a real real trooper i reckon he's about six weeks he might even be seven weeks he's only little his mum's she's a good mum she's had quite a few lots of birds and she's good she trusts him to run around and do his thing now and then he catches up with her again and um yeah i hate videoing this section so it's so it just looks so bad and it's had the geese in it and it's got to be cleaned out shoveled out but at the moment i'm leaving it because i actually think it's see all this layer of dirt and it's got poo and everything it's also dirt um it's actually really cool because it's holding um damp and if i clear it out it won't hold damp there's gravel underneath it and i think i might just even leave it for see how we go over summer because it's probably better. I could even put some more hay down on it to clean it out a bit. But I don't think it really matters because the dirt's probably cooler than if it, even if it was hay. I might do some investigation. Straw's meant to be very good, but straw's terrible for mites. Straw's good for weather control, temperature control, but terrible for mites for chickens. So this is the only wooden structure I have on the farm, and it's for the dog. But it's, so it's okay if the hens come in and have a little look and investigate. Sorry, I wanted to get a good photo of his legs and I just want to make sure his scales are okay. See them looking at, focusing at their scales. So it's nice and cool for them here. It's good and Frank and his hen's over there. Well, I can see Frank, I just need to see his hen. I can hear him, I, I can see him. I'll see if his hen's there. And he lost, we lost one of the girls, it was his, one of his hen's. And it was Mrs. Sid's daughter, and I think they'll both eat egg bound. So the daughter inherited similar sort of whatever. I think there's probably a predisposition to it. Yeah, it's nice and cool that. Uh, I've got some more frozen meat, which I think is kind of good to put in a bucket. And I gave the Seabright some. Um, I didn't film them because I was so suffering. I had to put the air conditioner on and just sit in front of it with the door open but Stella didn't even come in because she knows what's cooler for her 
and I was like bright red all over my whole body. I was really worried. I felt so vomited. I felt, I felt so sick fixing up the water for the horses. Oh my god. Okay, so there's my girl. Yeah, it's a nice. See where she is. I'm standing in line with her. There's a breeze coming across from behind me towards her, so she knows what she's doing. Okay, thanks for watching.